What's up, people? Sal Pack Kid here, and welcome to my new series called Map in Depth. In this series, what we'll be basically doing is going over every map in the New Zombie Chronicles, giving you what perks you get, what things I like on the map, what things I don't like about the map, what guns and stuff. Basically, just a massive tip guide for the maps. Maybe some Easter eggs are from the maps that need them. So, obviously, first one, you gotta stop the classic Nacked. So. First up, on that, the only way you can get your perks is by either buying Mule Kit, which is over there, or uh, you can use the Wonder Fizz. Uh, with the Wonder Fizz, like, don't be afraid to leave perks. It's only 1,500, it's not expensive. And on that, you will be racking up the points because it's not many things to uh, to really buy. Because there's no uh, Pack Punch, I'd heavily recommend putting on a Crate Power or Wall Power. Got immolation. I'll take Archie. See what we can get. I mean, it's not necessary, but on your own, oh, yeah, it can be helpful because just save them points that you can be then buying your perks with. It's very useful to have that. Uh, well, let's, well, hell, let's just activate it now. So, for, so first thing is the, what guns you want to be getting. You really want kind of, obviously any of the wonder weapons would be uh, perfect. You kind of want a uh, a full auto gun because if you have full auto guns, and they just tend to be a lot easier because you've got to kill a lot of zombies quickly. Like you don't want to be using something like the KRM. Uh, things things I like about them. Let's just talk about that for a minute. Well, I hit the box. She, that's terrible. But yeah. Like, I like how it's very simple, it's kind of the basic, you can learn how to play a map and how to play zombies on this. Maybe some things I don't like, the rounds are very slow to go through, like, in between rounds you'll be waiting for a while. One off the thunder gun, come on, give me some wonder weapons. Weevil, um, it's just, it does take a long time for zombies to spawn in, and we are not getting any good guns here, are we? Oh, the haymaker, there we go. But it does, it does run around, run out of ammo quite quickly because there's no dog rounds or anything. You will need a lot of ammo, so haymakers probably not advised. But as I don't really have anything else, I think I'll take it. Yes, the STG, I'll, that's quite good. Except it does again run out of, am out of ammo quite quickly. Dinger, there we go. This is basically the best normal gun you can get on this map. It's gonna really help you. I'm gonna leave that. Just keep this. It'll do. Yeah, so now we've got all of that out of the way, we may as well go uh, hit the Wonder Fizz. We'll see what perk we get. I'm going to try and save my use the Annihilator a bit, maybe. But probably going to go to the camping spot relatively soon. Yeah, it's, it's a good camping spot in any round. You have to get set up because you can always just get perks and stuff back later on. Unlike other maps later in the series, there isn't that much to talk about with that. Like, it'll probably be one of the shortest videos. Just because there's not much to really talk about. This camping spot is basically the best place to stay for the whole game. Uh, as for your gobble gums, you're going to want a crate power wall power, as I've always said. Aftes can come in handy. Self-med if you can get that. I don't actually have any. Uh, immolation is kind of useful, but it's not really that useful on this map. Phoenix up. Oh, you won't need that. On the house, I wouldn't recommend it. You can get points. You don't really need those point saving kind of gobble gums on this map. Obviously, a perkolic if you can get it, but again, it's not really that much of an issue. I'd probably have an unquenchable on, which I forgot to put on. I probably should have done, because you can just get more perks. It. Obviously, the soda fountain would be basically an extension of that. Going on here, the rounds are going by very slowly. We're not not really be able to showcase you anything. That's how slowly these rounds have been going for. Uh, well, when obviously when we do start to get into a couple of high rounds, not sure which round I have to like take you take you to on this. It's probably not necessary to go to a very high round, but then also we, we, I want to show you what it's like. Maybe a power vacuum could be quite useful on this round, this map, because you do need max ammos. Okay, so let's, let's see what we get out of this. Obviously, you want to hope for Jug or Quick Revive if you're playing solo. Speed Cola. I'm going to take it because I do have a Dingo, and 
That does take a while to reload, and you do need quick reloads when you're camping. But at the moment, this is probably my favourite place to be up here. Down, downstairs, a lot of windows that they can spawn at you from. Yes, they come slowly, but in the higher rounds, it is not advisable to stay down there. Up here is perfectly fine. One tactic I didn't do, which m probably would recommend to try and build your points in the early rounds, just stay in the first room. Don't open your door for a while, but I did get in Malaysia, I just wanted to use it. Like, just stay in the first room for a while, build up your points a lot more than I did. Don't waste ammo like I just did either. There's really an Easter egg on this map. No, there isn't. There's nothing. There's nothing like that I can really talk to you about. In the future, I probably won't be doing them because I don't want to just turn into an Easter egg guide. It's more about where to stay, what good guns that you can use, what perks. That's basically what this series is about. One thing I have noticed I don't like about the map really is that. It's very easy to get like trapped to the corner or something because there's not really any escape routes. Like if you're in this area, it's, it's probably alright. But if you're say, if you're here camping, there's no out route. If you, if you're here, then you have to open the door. Like there's only two exits out of this room. There's only two exits out of this room. Um, every entrance, every room only has two ways out, which can be a bit of a problem. If you'll get if you, if you've just came in and you're getting surrounded from one and you only have one other way of getting out, which might not help you out in the uh, long run. Okay, let's go hit our, our next Perk Cola. So hopefully, hopefully I can get like a bad one. Tell you why not to take it. Right. Dead shot. Well, and that is a prime example. Maybe take it if you want to. I'm going to take it just because. But, like, normally you don't really want to be taken unless you're, like, trying to hardcore camp for very high rounds and you just need to kill them quickly with headshots. I guess deadshot could be useful for you then. But normally, I just wouldn't recommend it. The other two perks I want now are Widow's Double Tap and Jill. But, I mean, I can't get all of those, so. Probably really shouldn't take a deadshot. But I did. So we're we're only on round five. Like this is this is going very slowly. We are running out of ammo. Probably should have put a cash back on. That's another double gun recommendation. Cash back. I'll use the annihilator when I can. Try and save ammo. So I've had no real bumps. Oh, and we can't have quick revive either. This isn't good. Forgot about a lot of things when I took dead shot. Really should have put on quenchable. But some people might like to go for like the classic kind of thing where like you have no perks. In that case, what well, I'd probably recommend to you if like you're just gonna go out with a classic approach. I'd probably just end up using a wall gun, because you're gonna especially on the late rounds, you're gonna go through ammo quite quickly. Maybe the KN, that's probably the best wall wall bar on this map. I really like the HVK four buys, but it isn't on this map, so it's not recommended. If you are going to be buying the KN, I this is not really a good place to camp, so I'd just go back to the camping spot and at the end of each round maybe buy more ammo and use grenades if you really have to. So it's only 250, and they can be quite effective. Let's just hit. Nah, should we hit the box? Mm, there's not much. Not really much point. Maybe get rid of the STG. If you are gonna be like just doing it, you can just hit the box and get rid of a gun if you have no ammo. It can just be. It can be very helpful if you are running low. Right. And even if it's a really good gun, it, you're gonna hit the box so much, you're probably gonna get another one. Okay, so I might just use the rest of this video as I basically talked about everything I want to to say upcoming things. Obviously, I'm starting up, I'm starting my YouTube channel again. I'm I'm going to be saving up my liquids of Vinions from now on. I'm, I'm on zero at the moment, but I'll be able to get more and do basically a liquid Divinium opening. Not sure how many I will do. And also, obviously, I have more videos coming out with uh, Aaron and Kyle. If you are interested 
been watching those. And so now Aaron's just left. So yeah, uh, I think that's basically all I said. Use use LMGs if you if you, if you're not if you're going for perks. If you're not going for perks, just use the KN. Other than that, yeah. See you in the next video. Stale. Hey guys, we're the Project Control.